10 fights break out in a high school. Now, how do 10 fights break out in a high school? What is y'all doing? Is y'all not teaching our children? They out here fighting. Here we go. Number three is something we talked off the top here. And yeah. this is a story that takes us to Prince George's County where 10 my fights. County. 10 fights broke out in just one single school day at Flowers High School. Videos posted to social at media Flowers. show different brawls throughout the school, and you can see there is a lot of people participating in the violence, all of this breaking out in school hallways. At this point, unclear if there were any injuries. The school did send out a letter to families today saying they are taking action to ensure students' safety and that their behavior will not be tolerated in this type of behavior. You know we always say it will not be tolerated after after the situations it would not be tolerated after all 10 fights now it won't be tolerated if it in my mind if something won't be tolerated wouldn't we kind of like prevent it from happening but mm, i could be wrong now you know this hits home i graduated from prince George's county public schools uh my kids were in prince George's county public schools for a very long time and i don't live too far from this school. So to see something like this pop off, these are videos that you usually see online from some other jurisdiction. Oh, you won't believe this happened in Los Angeles. You won't believe this happened in New York. To see it in my backyard, in my... Yeah. Prince George. It look like she don't even much care what he's talking about. This county public schools is, is very upsetting, and the question is, I have the same question you have. What do we want to do? Yeah, I mean, it, it, what are you gonna do? Uh, she don't care nothing about how you came up, about the school that you went to, to them the school that you're cheering going to, and all that stuff. So she don't care nothing. She ready to do the dog on story and move on with the dog on story. Shout out to T Lee for the five dollar super chat. He say they clean the air for the new year. That's what they're trying to do. That's what they're trying to do. Listen, we're also streaming live. We also streaming live on Twitch, twitch.com, the WW Show 2. That's what the number two. The number two, you can find me over there on Twitch. Here we go. Do we need more security? I mean, we talk about this all the time. They get school resource officers out of schools, yep. and you have massive violence. You put them back in, and then it, it's a question about is this affecting morale? Is this affecting? So the clearly, we, so we, we can't get so. to a, a happy medium here no where students answer. are safe, and they can continue learning, which is what you want your students to do at school went to the streets let's check it out what do we do do we bring the school the school resource do the officers come back into the school right, Who? starts with the parents the parents should be responsible start with the parents parents should be responsible you notice how men have no problem with saying that it's it starts with the parents women typically have a problem with saying that because they, 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 are, they are responsible i think that when done right, like restorative practices can work. They haven't in the past in the MCPS sometimes, okay. um, but the way they've been implemented, um, if it's just fights and not necessarily some deeper rooted hate, um, that kind of requires a broader intervention. I don't. He don't went too goddamn deep. Listen, if it's fights and it don't have to do with anything about hate, it will win. Ain't nobody said anything about the LGBT, but you go from it, it, it if it's fights and or hate. Y'all play too much, man. Just answer the doggone question. What can we do about these people fighting in school? It's simple. I don't necessarily think that bringing back school resource officers or, like, for example, I know in MCPS there was a talk about like, metal detectors. I don't really think that's a good thing because, I don't know, kind of brings up, like, the school of prison pipeline and, like... That's so, why we got to be careful when we talk to the young youngest. She say, um... The school to the prison pipelines if you got metal detectors. She said it bring back a thought of school to prison pipelines with metal detectors. For example, I know at MCPS there was a talk about like metal detectors. I don't really think that's a good thing because, I don't know, kind of brings up like the school to prison pipeline and like... <laughs> Girl, you heard some shit and you just... Shout out to the liberals out here, man. Got to be more careful, baby. You, 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 you just decided to repeat what's been going on. You know what I'm saying? School to prison pipeline for having metal detectors. Yeah, metal detectors when you go to like to the courts. Yeah, metal detectors when you go to like the airport and stuff like that. Does that remind you, or does that bring up school school to prison pipelines and other places where they have metal detectors? The security measures in school, like I don't really think that's the environment we were trying to create. I think a lot of that probably also comes from like their environment outside of school. Who did she just say she think that that comes from the neighborhood? The environment that they was raised in and the environment that they come from, they bring it into the schoolhouse. Now, what she said was a fact. 
I'm going to have to go with, that's a fact that here. Mm, she slid it in on you, though. School resource needs to be there. And I also think there needs to be transparency as well. But I also think that the onus is also on, these, on the parents as well. I think oh, there needs oh. Shout out to all the baby out here say it's also the parents. Go ahead, baby. Sure, go some ahead. accountability needs to be there. But the problem is some of the parents are need to be held accountable. And, that, and that's part of the problem. See, see now, an older auntie will keep it a hundred too. An older auntie will be like, "Hey, yeah, it's the parents' fault and all that plus over right there." Yes, she will, but it's like faulty and under. Y'all will not be talking about no doggone parents. I'm talking about females now. Yeah, nope. That's even a common response. Yeah, it's a common response. What's Where up are the with parents? the parents? So if, I know this. If it was, if there was a penalty for both parents and students, things would change. Absolutely, and but my know, mother killed me. I Having that boy Willie been saying, if you hold people accountable, I think everything is really common sense. If you hold people accountable, things will change because you're holding people accountable. I mean, I think a lot of houses, that would be the reaction. You do not engage in this type of behavior. My mother killed me. It is a, certainly a larger conversation. Why you keep saying that your mother will kill you? Like, why? Oh, my God. You hate to see it to your point and right here in our back. He's still trying to be hip-hop. Man, let it go. Yard in uh, the neighborhoods where we live, in the mm -hmm. school districts at our home. But again, a bigger conversation with police, with schools, and the community at large, including the parents of these children. Parents, parents, parents. All right. He seemed like a visitor. He said, that, hey man, I ain't, I ain't trying to come down on the player. But he talking like he's a visitor on the show, but I know that he works for the station. So he's not a visitor. He's just coming across to me as a visitor right now. She, She's coming across as somebody who actually worked there. He was just coming across as a visitor. And I don't like it. I don't like it, but who am I to be telling or like being offended about the well, talking about what I'm offended about. Uh, don't nobody care about that right now. But anyway, <laughs> we ain't done. We ain't done. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We back at Flowers High School? Let's stay at Flowers High School. Um, Flowers High School's, um, oh, uh, bam. We have a high school of Florida, of Florida. Flowers High School principal is reinstated after two months. Breaking off the top at six, the principal of Flowers High School, Dr. Gorman Brown, has been reinstated after two months on leave. Yes, the union representing Brown confirming to Fox 5 tonight that he can now return to his job, and it comes after multiple fights broke out at Flowers High School yesterday. Now, Fox 5 Stephanie mm -hmm. Ramirez joining us live from the newsroom with more on this story. Steph? Yeah, Angie, Ken, pretty disturbing here. Just in the past hour, though, we learned a school spokes spokesperson is now confirming several students have been suspended and other disciplinary actions may be pending. That spokesperson saying 10 fights broke out in just one day yesterday at Charles A. Flowers High School in Springdale. I want to show you some of the video posted online to a social media account called Flowers Rampage. Flowers Rampage. And as I watch videos, mm -hmm. um, like someone just sent me a link, they're fighting outside in the parking lot where the school buses are. Like, where's leadership? Where's security? Where's security? Mm -hmm. Where's PG cops at? You're hearing from a concerned parent there who's asking not to be identified. The parent, though, and other parents tell Fox 5 their children tell them. Some of these fights started among children from different neighborhoods and over little things like stepping on a shoe. That's not small, but go ahead. That, that's nothing little. Lose your life behind shoe, shoe stepping on. Prince George's County Public Schools spokesperson confirms no one else was seriously injured. They do not believe students from other schools were allowed into the building. Parents tell Fox 5 they want full transparency on what happened here, and they believe the absence of their principal, Dr. Gorman Brown, over the past few months has had a major impact. They say without the principal, they acting the fool like that. Go ahead. All the videos have been absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, the children are fighting in the hallway. They're fighting in the streets of Flowers High School. And it all, in my opinion, stems from them not having Dr. Brown there to prevent any of this. So the, discipl the disciplinary action at, um, person is gone. 
The one who they respect is gone. Say some lean on me stuff right off. None of this happened until he was not at the school. Mm -hmm. And although the union says Dr. Brown has been reinstated, it's not exactly clear when he will return. We're digging into why he was not allowed in and put on administrative leave in the first place. Now, a letter to families did go out today. PGCPS saying in part of their letter, while we understand that conflicts may arise, we must emphasize the importance of resolving disputes through constructive means. We believe in fostering a positive and respectful school environment and such behaviors will not be tolerated nor are they reflective of the values we aim to instill in i think that they um principal was joe clock out here <laughs> students the superintendent told the parent their team was on site addressing security concerns today and they have come up with a plan to better deploy staff throughout the school guys Stephanie, thank you. That's real cute. That's real cute. But damn it, they didn't notice they had to reinstate Joe Clark. Put Joe Clark back in because we cannot have these students out here brawling and rumbling and all that fly stuff right there. We got to get a hold of the education that these children are supposed to be receiving before the doggone holidays. And it's crazy that he just been reinstated like on Thursday. Just got reinstated yesterday, but school out. Should have got reinstated next year. Why they only got to come back to school now? You know what I'm saying? Like, it really not making no sense. But move right along. I ain't going to eat much, hold you. These are just some of the things that's going on in your school.